is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis, I'm going. Hey guys, it's Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis, as you can see on the shirt. <sighs> y'all wanted that Devon Dotson, so I'm going to give it to y'all my analysis on how I feel about another college player in the NBA draft that can be selected by another team and change his life forever and can potentially be an impact guy. Can he be a star? Can he be an all-star? We don't know what he's going to be, but I can tell you what he is right now, and that is a player that has a chance to be a multi-millionaire because he put in the work and he continued to grow and develop over the years. And now he can be selected in the NBA draft for all the talent that he has had and all the work that he has put in. He can finally be rewarded with a nice check to take care of his friends and his family or whoever he wants to. I don't have a problem with none of it because it's his money. But I'm here to talk about his NBA game. What can he bring to the table at the NBA level? And one thing about Devon Dotson is he's a speeder. He can get to the paint. He can knock down some shots. But at the end of the day, will that make a big impact on the team? Will he crack the rotations of a good team? And can he be a guy that can maintain and last 10 years in the NBA? We will never know until he does it. But that's my job right now as an NBA analyst. I have to give you guys the analysis that you need to make sure you get what I'm saying and understand this game now currently and project what he can be over the course of his career. And Devon Dotson is a guy that I see and I look at him and, I, and, and it just frightens me that he might not be in the league that long. He's not long enough, not tall enough, and he doesn't score good enough to really have a long impact and career at the NBA level, especially if he doesn't go to the right team or guys give up on him. One of the worst parts about the NBA right now is not only is this a guard-heavy draft, but majority of the teams in the NBA already have a guard. And if they don't have a backup guard, they can get one in free agency next year and this year. And if they don't like those guys, they can draft one ahead of Devon Dotson because majority of the teams in the lottery and in the top 20 already have a guy that they want to either develop or they have a star or they're not in a desperate need for a backup or a point guard in general as a starter. That's a disadvantage to Devon Dotson, but he's going to have to work hard to stay in the league and make himself stand out and be a difference to the other guards in the league. We're talking about guards that are legitimate six feet or higher, longer wingspan, better athletes, and a lot of the guys can create or score at a higher level than Dotson. Yeah, he's at a disadvantage because he hasn't played in the league at all. So we don't know what he can really do at that level until we see him in the league. The problem is a lot of these guys have proven it or they already have got security from their teams with long-term contracts or they just have more upside and potential because they are better than them already. That's a disadvantage for a lot of guards in the second round. Now, honestly, I wasn't going to do the second round players. I'm only doing majority of the top 30, but Devon Dotson is a guy that people like and people respect and people think that he's one of the better players in his draft, and that may be true. But the NBA don't go like that. It goes by needs. What do I need from a player? What do I need him to do? That's how the NBA goes. That's the business perspective. I'm trying to sign or get somebody that can fill a role on my team as a need. Can I get a third point guard? Do I need a third point guard? Do I need a starting point guard? Do I need a backup? That's the odds that Devon Dotson is going against. Can he literally play his game and evolve and adapt to the NBA situations fast enough to where the league doesn't give up on him? Because the way the league is going right now, it's going to be hard to keep a point guard spot secured in the NBA if you haven't already proven. Or even if you're young, the NBA is getting a lot younger. 
as we know. And these next couple drafts is not going to be any different. Another problem for Devon Dotson is a lot of the best players are becoming the primary decision makers, the primary number one option. And a lot of teams want to run their offense through multiple ball handlers or through their superstar. And the problem is there's less time in his hands and the less they need him. So he's working against that too already. Another thing. The shooting has to be a lot more consistent. If you're going to be somebody in the NBA that deserve minutes, either you got to have a specialty in the elite talent. Devon Dotson is good at a lot of areas, in my personal opinion, but not exceptional in all of them. And he has to be a threat. What is he really going to do at the NBA level that makes you wonder? Do I want to give him his mid-range? Do I want to give him a three? Is I'm even afraid to give him a shot? Can he even get to the paint at the NBA level consistently? And if he gets there, can he finish? Will he float? Will he mid-range stop pop? Can he go under the screen? Can he, when they go over, can he hit the three? These are just small little things that you have to do to play at the NBA level at this point in time because that's what everybody wants you to do if you're a guard. And if you can't play in pick and roll and you can't make shots, it's tough to be in the league, especially when you're coming in the league not as a great defender. And if you're not a great defender and not a consistent enough offensive player, it's hard to maintain and last in the league in its current state right now. But Devon Dotson, the best part about the league is teams are willing to give you a second chance and teams are interested in picking you up. He just going to have to be more determined. And I'm not saying that he's not. It's just the way the league is going with multiple ball handlers, superstars having dominant positions, and the NBA is just filled with, with point guards at this point and this draft isn't going to help that and there's a lot of guys in this draft that i personally feel in this top 15 that aren't starting caliber guards and if they are it's not too many teams that need them to start so i'm not just saying it to this devon dotson i said it even in other videos about maxi i said it about Ty tyrese hallenburton i said it about even Lamelo ball a lot of teams don't need you to be their primary ball handler, and a lot of teams don't need you to be their decision maker, which means you might come off the bench. Problem with Devon Dotson is it's easy to find a bench level point guard. But the good part about him is he's on a rookie contract, and they're going to give him some guaranteed years. They're going to give him a chance. They're going to allow him to shine a little bit, hopefully, because he's not guaranteed to get big minutes, especially as a later pick on teams that really don't need the help. Um, right away like a team in the lottery which goes against him again but other than that I mean he can play I think he is an NBA caliber player I think that he is a guy that can give you some problems if you don't pay attention to him or you underestimate him but he's going to have to really lock in on certain aspects of his game if he really wants to be in the league for a long time and he's going to have to master those skills to make him a guy that you want on your team and make him a guy that you want to pick up consistently as his career go on. Because when I look at him, I don't see franchise point guard, not because, it, I mean, that's just how it is. I don't see franchise in him. And on top of that, he just don't have enough elite skills at this, at his point of his career coming into the NBA. And those are the things he's going to have to sharpen up if he wants to become a guy that can be a rotation player, let alone a, a guy that can stay in the league for years. Because you can be a guy that people love having around. You can be a guy that can come in and do your thing. But at the same time, every team not going to like you. Every team not going to utilize you the same way. And every team not going to have you in the same role. And if they do, what role will it be for Devon Dotson? These are things that he and his agent is going to have to figure out these are challenges that he comes into the league having to know if nobody told him already. If he don't feel it, I tell him if you watch the video or he listening. But also these are things that he should take advantage of knowing now and try to get those weaknesses and those flaws ironed out early so that way it don't hurt his career in the future. And if he can, the faster he can figure it out, the faster he can master them, the faster he can get a jump on other guys coming in the draft and other veterans that may not be in favor of a lot of other teams. And the fact that he is young and he is on that rookie scale of contract. And even if he's not, you don't have to pay him a lot of money because he doesn't look like a guy that's going to warrant it at this point of his career coming into the league, not in the future. 
he has a chance to really make a huge name for himself depending on where he goes and how he plays and what he decides to work on and master as his career goes forward. So Devon Dotson, this is a guy that can be in and out of the league in five to seven years, and this is a guy that could potentially be an impact guy that works hard, that teammates love him, and he can knock down shots and make plays to the point where people might respect him and people might want to be interested in checking him out, which can keep him in the league for a long time. But at the end of the day, that's not the type of career you want to have. I understand if that's what you have, that's what you have, but that's not the ideal situation. So if I was Devon Dotson, I would take this approach of getting a head up start on a lot of these other guys, especially because you're not projected to go that high. But also a lot of guys are low on you as a point guard in the NBA in general. So even though he might be a first round pick, a lot of point guards have never lived up to that height of staying in the league for 10 years. It's not that hard, not that difficult, but it's just a time and area that we in right now where the guards are just loaded and they're easy to acquire. And his draft just makes it even more pressure as other guys are already higher than him. And a lot of these guys are going to be gone. And then he has to literally fight other guards, plus guards that's picked up, plus guards that's free agents to keep his spot on the NBA roster. Other than that, that's just the reality of the game, and that's how the business of the game is, and that's how teams look at him right now, and that's how he has to look at it, too, if he wants to have that longevity or even become something special in the league, which he has the potential to be, and I'll give him credit on that. But that's part of the league. Everybody trying to eat. Everybody trying to feed their family. Everybody trying to go out here and put in that work so they can stay in the league, and Devon Dotson won't be no different at that point guard position. But other than that, that's the end of the video. Check out my website. NawsisPlayground.com, link in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, NawsisPlayground.com, link in the description, comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Like the video if you liked it already. Thanks for liking. Thanks for love support. If you ain't liked it already, like the video and share. Also, I make merchandise just like this. Spread shirt. You can message me on Facebook, get it shipped out to you. Not only that, let me know what you guys think about Devon Dotson in the video in the comment section below. I read every comment. For some reason, I just don't comment anymore because of the comments. Um, but the fans wanted this video. The fans wanted to know what my analysis and my opinion was, and I gave it to you. So be all happy. Enjoy your day. I'm going for the rest of the day. Be back at y'all the Thursday. Queen Wade, basketball analysis.